Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's video, we will be making a back to school gift with the Maker 3 that you can give to a teacher or a parent. I'll walk you through how to use this print and cut feature to make these fun, personalized tags. For today's tutorial, let's start off in Cricut Design Space. You can turn anything into a tag and make it fun and personalized. I am making these for back to school, but you can use these same steps to make fun tags for any occasion. I'm in Design Space and I have my design ready to turn into a print then cut tag. Let's get started by clicking images, then type in tag. Scroll down until you find one that you like. I'm going for a simple shape. Once you find the one you like, click insert. I'll just change the background color to something a little lighter so we can still see our text. I want to be able to see the writing and the designs, so I'll just grab the tag layer and pull it down to the bottom. Pull your tag over and line it up. And as you can see, there are a few parts sticking out the sides. Click both the tag layer and the coffee cup layer, and then click slice. This will cut off the excess cup. It will also cut the rest of the cup out of the tag, so you will just have to put them back together by selecting those layers and clicking weld. Repeat the same process for the leaf sticking out on the other side. I like the look of it now, so I can change the background color to white. I want to make two of these tags with different names, so I'll just copy the whole thing and paste it to make another copy. And change the name on the second one. If I let the machine cut it right now, it would also cut out the words and the coffee cup individually. To prevent that, we just need to select the design layers and press flatten. Repeat that for the second tag as well. The final step is selecting both the tag and the design layer and press attach so that the print and cut happen in the same spot. Now these tags are ready for printing and cutting. Design Space will prompt you to print out the design and then it's ready to cut out. When you print this out, you'll notice a rectangle around your design. This is there so your Cricut can calibrate to this line and get a perfect cut every time. Now that our tags are printed, we can just roll the mat away from the tags to keep them flat, grab some twine, and attach them to a gift bag or your favorite coffee. And voila! Just put in a coffee and you're ready to go. Thanks for joining me today, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.